it's hard to explain what really attracts a person, myself, to a particular thing. I just know I read it, and the story itself had a kind of magic for me. I was studying Buddhism at the time, and it may have had, it's like a little Buddhist story, you know, in, in a way. It's a, uh, you know, he could be a Buddha, you know, this man, and he's sharing a little, little drop of wisdom with the boy. It's just so wonderfully zen, like, yes, and then how at the end, like, you just got, you know, yes. and you, uh, like, I remember when it started, because obviously I've ne I'd never heard of work and I was like oh, okay so and then this older man was telling this young boy I love you and I was like wait what what, what was it where, yeah where's this going this isn't what I expected it I yeah. didn't expect it to go and then when it came to discussion of love and how you know like, like what it means to miss someone to love someone and then for them to uh, just I was like that's such a human sort of thing you know like everyone experiences this but it's just I never thought to put it into words like that if that makes sense well he's basically saying that love is a skill yeah. it should not be taken for granted and that we tend to take it for granted and we tend also to think that love is something that exists outside of ourselves that we uh, try to acquire whereas he's suggesting it might actually be the opposite yeah. that it might exist inside of us right. and that it's about giving it and not grabbing it and holding on to it because if you do that it can it can go away yeah. and take all of that feeling of love yeah. with it when it goes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes.